train as hard as you want and you can recover as much as you want, but if you're not eating enough food, you might as well not fucking bother. I am a narcissistic prick, and what? But you've got to be a narcissistic prick to get to that number one spot. I realize it's really no surprise, but the more I've gotten into filming and the more I've done things like that, the more I've gotten into people, other people pursuing this and it always excites me. I guess going back before the Arnold, I uh, paid cash to a Kickstarter program, which was that, is uh, Eddie Hall filmed a documentary kind of about his life pursuing Strongman. And I'm about to sit down and watch it. I have not watched it yet. It seems to be about an hour and a half long, which is fucking awesome. The shots, they, they look great. And uh, I'll put a link below, but please check this out. Support these guys. It's like 15 bucks. And I think it'll give a lot of insight to, to that world and what that, that top level of strongman is. This isn't riches and fames and any of that. This is realistic and people pursuing something because it's what they love. I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I think afterwards. And first really cool moment of uh, Eddie Hall documentary. Hap Thor throwing the weight over bar record at the Arnold last year with fellow competitors, Mike Zolkowitz. There's Richard Soren from Sorenex. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's me. Though I'm not a strongman guy, man, I sure, I love the world. I love this world of strength. The guys that do it, I just, Highland Games happens to be the one that fits me the best. So far, pretty good. And not just because of that. So finished up watching uh, Eddie Strongman, the documentary. It's pretty good. Um, it is fantastically shot. Eddie is a very entertaining character. Uh, I've got to meet Eddie a handful of times and always has been a superbly nice guy and quite quite entertaining and someone who can uh, talk a little shit, which is always fun. There's nothing worse than just a, lack of a better term, dead fuck of a personality. And Eddie's, Eddie's got it. He's got that charm and charisma. Uh, the only things I see that I watch the documentary and think are, I, I realize watching this and other people that their priorities are a lot different than mine. And that's not a positive or negative just as much as something I realize. Now someone like Eddie, for example, it seems in the documentary that he says everything in his life kind of depends on World's Strongest Man and winning a World's Strongest Man, being the World's Strongest Man. Almost like if that happens, these gate, these magical gates will open and, and then the world will be his. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was arrogant as fuck. Fucking those arrogant bastards on the planet. But he's got to number one and he's a movie star and he's fucking amazing, everyone loves him. And now he can be confident. <sighs> like Olympians I've met and stories I've read from Ronda Rousey and other people that put too much investment in one accomplishment it tends to not fulfill you the way that you hope it will. Nothing's gonna change. The way I could look at it is kinda like thinking when you're a kid about losing your virginity, and you think like, oh man, the whole fucking world will be different after that, like colors will be different, and, the, and just my life, I'll wake up a new man, and you fucking don't. It's not that big a fucking change. It's everything else. It's just another stepping stone in your life and your story, and don't let it define you. Don't let being a strong man be who you are. It just let it be something that you do. That's my recommendation for, for anyone. Eat, sleep, and shit Highland Games, and neither do I. It's not that you have to do that. You know, and I don't know, look, Strongman's a much more dedicated sport than, than Highland Games has to be. I mean, I can say that pretty confidently with I know, what, I, I know how I live my life. I also know how Dan McKim lives his. He's got five boys and a job, loves training and lifting weights, and loves traveling to compete, but he doesn't, eat, sleep, and shit Highland Games, and neither do I. It's just something that we do and something that we're very good at. You know, I, I'll be rooting for Eddie. He is, he is a hell of a character, and please check out the documentary. The link will be below. I think it's like 14 bucks. Support these guys, man. They put out some great information. This is what it's about. You wanna spend your money somewhere and cast your vote? Cast your vote so that people like this continue to make amazing stuff. <laughs> check it out. It's First class and uh, really well shot. Great job and Eddie, I wish you the best of luck, bro. Video is uploading for today. So it's time to deadlift. 
Let's go do that. Legs feeling pretty good. So time to deadlift. Gonna play it slow. Gonna really warm up pretty nice. Start with some light weights. Start with a, you know, some voodoo floss, slap a hammy band on and uh, just play it by ear. Would like to hit, you know, 405 for uh, five sets of 10. That's the goal. Just finished training. Good deadlift day. Uh, hamstring seemed to work itself out. Growing a little bit of compression using uh, the voodoo floss in the beginning and then I just switched to kind of a light wrap using a slingshot knee wrap. The blue magic, I don't know if that's what they're called, they should be. training finished up with some uh sore nice glued ham roller a couple more bullshit accessories that just really aren't worth filming i did some good mornings and then did some accessory uh some throwing drills for the first time the concrete in my garage is very grainy and it's not that it's too grippy it's that uh it's like it's dusty so you slide it's not great so i'll figure out another plan And uh, starting, just even doing that little bit of putting my shoes on and going through some drills. Fuck, I just feel so much more athletic moving and doing stuff than I do the power lifts. So, I need to go throw. I need to go throw and spend some time just moving around, light weights. Finally getting over this fucking cold. I know it doesn't sound like it, but I feel 100% better. I've gotten some good sleep the last couple nights. Uh, which means I'm not sleeping in my normal bed. I have moved upstairs. And I'm sleeping alone because I snore with this shit jammed in my fucking face, basically in any position I'm in. And so what's sleeping with my wife while she's awake later than me reading is being nudged what seems like every five seconds and being told to roll over to a position that doesn't exist. So I just fucking leave and go sleep so we can both actually sleep. I don't like not sleeping with her but I hate not sleeping more, if that makes sense. For the greater good, the greater good. So that's about it, that's about the whole day. That's training, that's getting some odds and ends done, editing a video, and uh, getting ready to podcast here in a little bit. Gonna be on Podcast of Terror, excited about that again. And uh, we're gonna be doing the reanimator, and I got a couple beers to drink. Thanks, post-workout carbs, like a boss.